Gentlemen, ladies, welcome back. Um, uh, last week, Sadastic had asked me if I would do a little gameplay on X Men Legends 2, and I'm more than happy to. Um, I just hadn't gotten around to it because of this damn cold. But uh, I'm going to play it tonight and do a little gameplay. Um, I don't know if you ever played the first one, Pete. Um, it's it's a lot like that. It's the same kind of um, deal where uh, you have like a party of like four people, and each of them have like their specialty, you know, mutant powers and stuff, and you kind of work them through a level. And uh, sometimes you have you know certain areas that only certain mutants can get through, and then they you know have to figure out a way to get the rest through you know, be it flying over a chasm or something like that. It's it's kind of like also, it's kind of like Marvel Ultimate Alliance or uh, this game too, Justice League Heroes, which I really like. So um, I decided that uh, I decided to retire the PS1 for the time being, uh, mainly because I went to throw this X-Men Legends 2 in the 360 and it said it wouldn't play it, which means that even with the update, um, it's one of those games that they never got around to making backwards compatible. So, uh, I know my PS2 will run all my PS1 games, so I just went ahead and put my PS1 up and, and hook the Xbox back up so I can, uh, play all my Xbox games. So, um, let's get some gameplay going. sworn enemies for as long as I can remember, led by a madman who was once my closest friend. But now, a new evil has surfaced, one with powers beyond comprehension, and those we have battled against for so long will become something we never imagined. Our allies. The apocalypse has begun. So anyway, even though I had a save marker file on my actual Xbox hard drive, I don't actually have a save game for this game, so we're going to start at the beginning. Um, they call this an action RPG. Let's turn it down a little bit. They call it an action RPG. We already saw this. Um, but I don't really consider an RPG. I mean, it's kind of like you're working. You do get level ups, and you do get to dump stuff into your stats Robert, and power ups. located the professor. It's okay to teleport in. And stuff. Ooh, cool, Nightcrawler. Um, but, you know, it's it's pretty basic. I mean, it's not overwhelming like a role-playing game. Um, it's mainly, it's Get almost more Jedi like we'll meet you Gauntlet there. or something in a way. As you wish. Except you're controlling all four people. All right. Let um, looks like I'm starting off here with... Uh, I don't know. Bunch of people. Uh, you got a soft and a, and a hard attack, a jump, uh, and then if you hold down one of the, the right trigger, you can do your um, mutant power. And then if you yes. use the directional pad, you can switch guys. Two of the people got cut off from the rest of the group. What have we <laughs> 
get health and it looks like you have a blue bar for your mutant power like you can use it and get depleted and This definitely is PG-13. I mean, it's not like Wolverine Origins or something. It's not going to be nearly as gory as that. See how he can like blast the things on the wall to disable the. I think you can pick, yeah, if you use the X button, you can pick stuff up. And for some reason, there's some kind of monetary system where you're picking up money. I don't know what you're gonna buy and sell, but. I'm gonna check somebody else out. Let's take Storm. This is gonna be sweet. Everybody's leveled up. What's that thing? Waistband. I don't know what any of the uh, special items are or anything like that. I really should get back and play this game. I played most of my way through the first one and I just never finished it. <coughs> Greetings. This location is known as the Sanctuary, a retreat of Magnetos. It will Sounds like they got uh, Patrick Stewart to do the voice for Germany. Professor X. Several days ago, Apocalypse attacked the city of Genosha. Magneto and several of his people were able to escape, but the rest of the populace was trapped. After helping to rescue me, Magneto Apocalypse is far too strong for either team to battle. Talking to people around camp will activate. Right now, you should speak with Sabretooth. Sabretooth, huh? Very well. If you say so. Well, Marine kind of sounds like Solid Snake, which is funny. I don't know why, but he does. Salutations, my friend. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Beast looks like who you're going to talk to about buying and selling stuff, so. So anyway, here's your status screen. You can check your different characters and stuff and add things to their uh, stats uh, when you level them up. And uh, it looks like you can equip them with certain uh, items and unequip them with certain items. Uh, kind of like you know, armor and things like that, but it's real basic. I mean, it's not like an RPG in any sense of the word, really. Um, other than that, I mean, um, it's pretty basic. I mean, it wasn't super hard, um, which is cool. You can probably get through it in a decent amount of time and not uh, break a sweat. Uh, but, you know, it's fun. That's why, you know, it's fun because you're not overly you know, taxing yourself trying to work through it.